Dante Jolich here, Real Pro BJJ and BJJBasics.com with my buddy Rich. I'll tell you who answering the question. A uh, buddy on bottom side control keeps shoving my face. There's a bunch of different ways people do this. I'm not quite sure which way they meant, so I'll cover a few of them. Here we go. So, let's back up. One of the most common ways you'll see are people will maybe put a thumb in your collar and they're pushing your neck in your face like that. What you're gonna do is you're trying to be snug with your side control. I will come over the top and I will look and bow, trying to trap his hand, grabbing the elbow here. And then as I fan the elbow, I look in for the sun. So he's here, he grabs, he's giving me the business. I come around looking in to get this hand trapped at my front of my delta. Open it for the sun. Be real careful with your buddies, but you know, it's a wrist lock, so it's a dirty dog move and I love it. Your trigger is he's holding the lapel or our deltoid. Anything like this, you're gonna start to, whenever that arm, you feel like you can trap it, like put the thumb in again, like, are you giving me the business? Yeah. As we're snug, over, drop. This traps his hand, and then there's a bunch of different ways you can do the submission. Sometimes our buddy is pushing with a free hand on our face or our neck like this, yeah. What you're gonna do is switch, go right to your Americana. Nice and snug, hands laced deep, everyone knows the finish. When they're pushing on our face with a free hand like that, a lot of times what they're trying to do is get our head caught in the head scissor. So be conscious of that. Use your baseball slide as he's pushing to come over. Snake through. You're coming up, hand to your chest, up, snake in between the two of you, and then drive them in for this, uh, the position change into the double wrist lock or Americana. One more time on that one. So we're here, coming around, getting out of the way, coming to the sun. Standard finish. Last one. They use this bottom third of their arm a lot of times to drive, give you the business to shove you up. So whenever you're here and you're facing that, you're gonna check the arm, come around, put on a wide kickstand, yeah. knee across the belt line. Don't get rolled this way. Put the trailing leg in, out, come to the side. And then finish with an arm triangle. Different angle. So my trigger is they're driving with the forearm. He's been wrist locked a time or two, so he's not hiding that hand on my delt or in my collar. Check it, hurdle around, low. Trap this arm so it can't come back out. Post so you don't get rolled. Up, shin across the belt line, foot tight against the hip. Put the trailing leg in, extract. Palm down, palm the palm, looking for a little gentle squeeze. Uh, always take it back. Uh, that's all I got for you today. I hope these help. If you're ever in the Cleveland area, please come visit.